we've been inspired by this guy named Biniam Gurmai. Have you heard about him? Come on, go ahead and put your hands together. Yeah! Biniam Gurmai, man. He ignited something within all of us, not only with Eritreans, but the whole world. Europe knows what our flag looks like. We, they know now they're singing our song, Samira, Samira, and everything. Like we are, we have gotten known. Yeah, you guys are laughing. You see, I will, it just, it just passed by on my story. I don't look for it, that song. All right. But <laughs> so what I, you see, he inspired us the first black, not just African black cyclist to ever win. Tour de France. I mean, he took the green jersey home. Green is going home. My post for a long time was about him and just like, you know. A friend of mine said, well, come on. Why are you getting so excited about this? Well, no, he just made history. That is incredible. Outstanding. He grew up in Eritrea, Asmara. He trained in the city that I, I work. But you see, this, this, this has something to do with my message tonight. I, I, I came across a video that he had an interview years ago. About, four, I think, four, six years ago, it could be. He said this. He said, you know what? I envision myself to actually participate on Tour de France. Not only that, I, not only participate, but also win it. That's daring. Can you see that? That's pushing boundaries and limitations. I mean, it's been dominated by white Europeans for ye for 110 years, and he was he was brave enough to declare it. He was in he was brave enough not only to see it, not only did he envision it, but he was brave enough to to speak it out. There is power of life and death in our tongue, in your tongue you Christians there's power of life and death if we you know if we can say uh, you see th th they say this right watch your thoughts because your thoughts will become your words watch your words because your words will become your, ac your your actions watch your actions because your actions will end up being your character watch your character because your character at the end of the day it's going to be your destiny Amen. And so this th today, the way you view yourself. Yesterday we talk about the Holy Spirit. We talk about going deeper in God. When we go deeper in God, where the Spirit of the Lord is, we go from glory to glory. We go deeper in the knowledge of God, not only in the knowledge of Christ, but in the knowledge of who we are. When we know God, we get to know who we are, what we're made of. I'm looking at a room full of people that have earth-shaking ability in them. Amen? I love when you guys praying. That was a powerful prayer. The way we think about ourselves is important. I want to encourage you to step back and consider and locate the great potential within you. It is my greatest desire that you would be ignited tonight. If anything, ignited about who God created you to be and your identity in Christ. I want to talk to you about these three Three things right great potential that is in you the purpose for it and how to live that out passionately without holding back like I mentioned uh, uh, our, our our brother Biniam Gurmai he also whether in his own way he prioritized God he puts God first he always he give credit to God also God's part and so I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you and the rich of his glorious inheritance in his holy people and his incomparably great power for us who believe amen